What's up guys, Alfonso here, and I want to do a quick video going over the Liquid Smooth ROM running on the Sprint Galaxy S3. Uh, now this is RC7, uh, and I mean I've been playing with this ROM for a day and a half or so, and uh, I don't really have any negative things to say about it. It's insanely fast. Um, I'm using Nova Launcher right here, so uh, as you can see the speed on that, and uh, let me focus in here for you. And as you can see, I mean, there's pretty much no lag. Um, it's it's super smooth, uh, super fast. So as you can see, going back to my home screen was really quick. Um, this ROM has a lot of customization options. Um, just some of the features are, as you can see here, I have the time, and it has uh, it says Friday beside it, and it has a little PM. Um, usually the time is over here and it doesn't say a.m. or p.m. or it doesn't say the day of the week but you can move where you want the time if I wanted it over here in the middle uh, I selected in the middle of course and uh, you know that's pretty cool you can you know you can change the background of the notification bar as you see here it's different than my home screen uh, I just thought that was a cool little feature and this is running Android 4.1.2 Go ahead and show you Android 4.1.2, uh, and uh, I mean, you know, it's pretty cool. It still has all the, you know, you can pull down to see your messages. Uh, same with screenshots, things like that, and uh, you can swipe away the notification, or you can hit this, and it will clear all your notifications. Now. Um, we'll get into some of the settings of this ROM go in if you want to uh, you know it still has your normal settings here in you know your wireless and networks and here is where you can start to customize things a little bit more go into liquid smooth and then you can change interface options uh, you know you can go into your display if you want it to you know rotate the screen uh, if you want to use the notification light you can customize that as well uh, automatic backlight you can you know change the levels of that um, this is this is actually pretty cool right here you can change the notification background we'll go ahead and do that now just to demonstrate for you go ahead and select from your gallery we'll take a picture of my daughter and I from Halloween I will then ask you to crop the selected area and then you just hit OK. And it says uh, settings has been granted super user permission. And as you can see your notification bar will disappear for a minute. And then once it comes back it should have your new photo as the background as you can see there that is the photo that we selected I uh, just thought that was pretty cool another cool feature is I don't know if you could see this but it says uh, this is usually where it says sprint but you can actually customize that as you can see I have the tech daily dose um, you would do that in liquid splasher interface you would do it here under carrier label um, you can put anything you would like and it will display there background alpha this is how how transparent your background picture is um, so you can change that and that's pretty cool uh, kill all button basically that's when you when you uh, hold the home button or sorry yeah, when you hold the home button, uh, it puts this here. So if you don't want to go through and swipe each notification, uh, each program away, sorry, you can go ahead and hit that kill all button, and it will just clear all the applications that are running. And then also, you know, you can clear your recent RAM if you select that. Um, hold back to kill. Holding back will kill all current activity. I haven't got that to work. Uh, I have it checked, but for some reason it's not working for me. Uh, you can force the tablet user interface 
you know you'll have to reboot your phone but uh, you can do that as well if that's what you want you can change the lock screen you can change the lock screen background if you know you want something other than what's on your home screen nothing too fancy there you can uh, change your clock alignment if you want the clock to be displayed on this side of the home screen right center or left you can change that uh, widget alignment you know you can select the alignment of your widgets you can change the text color of your text on your lock screen you can have it to show your battery status uh, weather calendar these are basic features you know but um, it is nice to be able to do these in the ROM and here's where you change all your shortcuts um, and then we'll get into navigation this is where like if you want to have that little nexus like navigation icons right here uh, this is where you would set that up power menu what this is is when you hold your power button you can select what you want to be here and uh, you can take stuff away I have it set up silent screenshots profiles reboot and airplane mode uh, you know that's a pretty cool feature you can customize as well as your toggles now this is these little icons here you can I believe it comes with like two or three there but you can add what you want or take away what you don't need um, as you can see it has a lot of options to choose from so you can you know you can put any number of things there you can change the order in which they're displayed uh, so say you want LTE by your Wi-Fi you just drag it up thought that was a pretty cool little feature you can turn on haptic feedback for if you touch it it'll vibrate uh, you can change the look and feel of the toggles and also you can change if you want icon only or text only uh, we'll switch it see right now I have it set up to icon only we'll go to text only as you can see it changes just to the text and uh, you know you can auto hide your toggles after the drawer closes it will hide your toggles you can change the text color the indicator color and uh, you know you can change the brightness all that stuff from there widgets you know that's just basically a power widget and your status bar you can on the status bar you can change like I said where the time is uh, you can change the Wi-Fi you can change it to where it shows what percentage your signal is your signal you can change that to percentage as well you can change the battery icon I have a little circle with a number in it um, there's a couple of different you know icons for that uh, thought that was pretty cool that you could change all that stuff so I mean as you can see this ROM has a huge number of customization features and uh, you know I think that's amazing you know this this ROM I haven't had any problems with it yet um, performance wise I mean there are a few bugs that I've noticed already like uh, let's see uh, I'll go ahead and show you the, the bugs are only like visual bugs there's nothing that's going to affect your performance uh, we'll go ahead I noticed this when uh, watching videos that um, we'll go ahead and pull up one of my videos as you can see the video will load up just fine and we'll go ahead and turn this down and then when you s rotate the screen you saw that little flash um, I'm not really sure what that is or why that does that but um, that just kind of bugs me a little bit but it's nothing that's going to affect performance uh, just it's just a visual aspect of things uh, also another thing I noticed was when you're in an application and say you want to switch to another application um, you hold this button down and then you see it kind of has this weird thing where it shows the whole screen and then it I, I don't really know how to explain it but you can see it there um, and sometimes the the screen flickers a little bit it's kinda like the same thing but other than that I definitely recommend this ROM guys this ROM is super smooth uh, super fast and I will put a link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it now once again this is the liquid smooth ROM RC7 running on the Sprint Galaxy S3 so if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.